Good morning. So I'm preparing to make almond milk and I am soaking my nuts. So you're supposed to soak your nuts if you're going to make almond milk. And I'm soaking them for like eight hours <laughs> or something like that. It's supposed to be overnight, but it's morning now, so probably just a good portion of the day. They're roasted nuts, but apparently you can do that. If I would have thought that I was going to be using these for almond milk, I would have gotten raw nuts or raw almonds. But um, I got them originally because I was going to make these hors d'oeuvres for uh, New Year's Eve. But that didn't happen, and so I still had them. And I need almond milk because I'm trying to create a really good keto coffee recipe and um I'm, I, and I want to do it with almond milk so that's what I'm doing I'm just sharing that yep it's in a little glass bowl that I got at Dollar Tree and you're supposed to soak them for about eight hours and then you put them in a Vitamix with some water after you after you drain them of the water they're soaking in. You put them in a, I don't know, I don't remember. I don't remember what the, the measurements are, but whenever I do make it, I'll definitely talk about the measurements. Um, I think it's like, I don't know, a cup or two cups of almonds with a liter of water. I'm not really sure. And then you blend it, and then you strain it through a nut bag or a uh, uh, cheesecloth, which is the only thing I have, so that's what I'll be using. And then you take the leftover almonds, um, the almond meal, and then you use it for something, and in my case, I'll use it for oatmeal or something like that. But I just wanted to share my plans for almond milk and I just wanted to talk about soaking your nuts which sounds weird but yeah you're supposed to do that I think it, I think it digests better and you get more of the nutritional value out of it when you soak them for a good long time Just sharing. All right, y'all. Everybody have a good day, and I'll make an update later. See ya.